on Friday the 25th of September 2020 at around 2.15 in the morning. Police officer Matt Rattana was shot while working in the custody suite in Croydon. The prime suspect is a 23-year-old male who was arrested by regular officers before being placed in the custody suite. He was handcuffed with his hands behind his back, presumably when arrested and searched, before being taken into the police station. However, the gun the male was carrying was missed. The suspect is said to have shot police officer Matt Rattana before shooting himself while handcuffed with his hands behind his back and then shooting himself in the head. Matt Rattana passed away and the suspect is currently in hospital in critical condition. The whole incident seems extremely odd to me and there are a number of factors to consider. How can a suspect be arrested and searched before entering the police station and the gun he was carrying was missed? This seems extremely odd to me. Secondly, how can the suspect, while handcuffed behind his back, get a gun from wherever he had it, shoot the officer, then shoot himself before any other officers can intervene? Another aspect to consider is the fact that Matt Rattana was 54 years old and was apparently about to retire. There are a number of factors here that indicate this is an incident that is extremely unusual and that something is very strange about the incident. Boris Johnson recently said that due to CV, he is prepared to use the army to enforce the rules that have been set. Is this incident going to be used as a reason for the police and military to have more power than they currently do? Are the people of England going to see police officers carrying guns regularly at some point in the future? Did this incident even really happen? It's hard to say at this point.